What up, what up, good people? It's your man, King Crones, a.k.a. DJ Crones, a.k.a. OMG Peasants. You know I gotta do my intro every time. Back in one of the Swoozies video with School Bully 2. Um, I'm pretty sure I watched School Bully 1, but I don't remember. It might have been years ago. Who knows? But, you know, it's a five-minute video. I don't keep people talking too long. It might get cut out through the copyright stuff, so if it's a word edit, you know why. Let's jump on in, see what's going on. My man's got a Nickelodeon orange Nike crossbody on. With the blockbuster hat. And I'm feeling that. Blockbuster trucker hat. I'm feeling that. Feel me? I got my truck on right now. Atlanta, feel me? Whatever you put out Let's into the universe comes back to you. In middle school, there was this dude named Jay. Oh, remember to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, notification bell. Links in the bio for my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook page, my main channel, and one more, one more, my SoundCloud with my DJ mixes. Let's get back to it. Jake. Puberty hit Jake when he was 12. So this dude was like six foot tall for no reason. But the first time we got into a tiff, it was after school, we're playing basketball. Me and my cousin Shane were on the same team. Jake fouls Shane. They start getting into it. Jake grabbed my cousin. I just blacked out. I went full throttle. Charlie's Angel. You got a problem with my cousin. You got a problem with me. I run out of nowhere. I snap and turn into Batman and I jumped on his back. 2v1. Literally in a single motion. He just cranked and then flung me like a rag doll. I was oh. in a splint for like three weeks. Sleeping with a splint is not fun. Jake just starts harassing me every day. Eventually Jake just got tired of the standard bullying, I guess. And then he found a new way to entertain himself. If you weren't paying attention, he would run up to you and pull down your pants. But it's not bad enough that I'm failing algebra and failing French class. Imagine how traumatic it is psychologically coming to school, looking over your back in between every single class, wondering if you're trying to pull your pants down and you're gonna be exposed and now I gotta start my OnlyFans account. I say this kind of jokingly, but not jokingly because it was very stressful when all this was happening. And then one day, everything changed because we got a new kid, Sterling. I see Jake just looking at Sterling like, <laughs> fresh meat. First day Sterling gets there, as soon as school ends, Jake goes over to him and pushes him. Sterling pops Jake in the mouth. You know, they say if you ever go to jail, you gotta start a fight on the first day. Bad. Jake did not hit him back. Something very strange happened. Jake and Sterling became best friends. You know how rappers collab and they do an album together? Yeah, that happened. These <laughs> dudes went on a bullying tour. They got so tired of bullying people in our class, they started bullying like high schoolers. Granted, I saw Sterling get his butt kicked by this sophomore and that was one of the most satisfying things I had ever seen in my life up to that point. But these dudes just wanted to fight. Everybody. I think it was like eighth grade, Jake was having a birthday party and he came to school and he was telling everybody like, hey guys, come to my birthday party and nobody wanted to come. And when you're harassing people, people don't want to be around you like that. I think he put two and two together so he started acting really nice. For like a week straight, he was nice to everybody and then some people were like, okay. So Jeremy said he was gonna go, Robbie said he was gonna go, my cousin Shane said he was gonna go. I was the last person invited, so I'm like, okay, down. Now granted, I'm a nerd. Nerds are my peoples, okay? No matter what outfit y'all see me dress up in, still nerd. Bullies they get to the party and it's a, like a, a fight ring or something. <laughs> can just sense nerd. But I figured let me go to his party, let me get in good with him, maybe he'll leave me alone. Go to this party and it was pretty fun. His dad was barbecuing. Then the video games came out and we put on Madden. Not a good idea. I knew this play, HB Toss Left with Cincinnati, you couldn't stop it. So no matter how bad of a predicament, I could be fourth and 90. I was, <laughs> you knew what was coming. I beat Robbie, I beat Jeremy, I beat Shane, and then it's Jake's turn. I don't just start beating him. I run, HB toss left, every play. And I was talking junk the entire time. I made it a point to beat him worse than anybody else at the sleepover. I was thinking this dude is gonna go back to harassing me anyway, so I might as well just get my revenge right now. For 15 minutes, I gave him a taste of what he'd been doing to me for the last three years. So then around midnight, we're all in his room and he says, let's all see who can stay up the longest. Whoever goes to sleep first, is gonna get it. We're in his room, we're just talking. We're all there and we're talking, I'm just like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Next thing I know, I hear giggling. I am woken up by the sound of laughter and the smell of beans. I don't know what's going on, but I'm mad because everybody's laughing and I realized they did something to me. They opened up cans of beans and poured it all over me. They poured it on my head, they poured it down my shirt. Shane is there holding a can of beans laughing like, bro, E2 Brute? You remember the time I jumped on Jake's back to save you? I have not eaten a single bean since that night. I'm traumatized, I just have PTSD. Monday comes, we go back to school. Jake goes right back to bullying everybody. This dude just made middle school 
a traumatic experience for every guy in our class. And once high school hit, Jake went off to a different school, I went off to a different school, never saw that dude again. So I told you all that backstory to catch you up to now. Shane has a barbecue. We're out there talking, we're catching up. You remember Jake? You remember that time I saved you? I jumped on him like I was Darkwing Duck, and then you stabbed me in the back by pouring beans all over me at his party? And then Shane goes, oh, did you hear what happened to him? No. On prom night, he went out partying, got super drunk, got in his car, drove home, and hit a construction worker, and then kept driving. The cops went and looked at the cameras and traced them back to his house, showed up, and arrested him. And the judge stacked all that. Driving under the influence, speeding in a construction zone, hitting a construction worker, fleeing the scene of a crime. They gave him life in jail. He has not seen the light of day since the day after prom. Obviously, I was not Ooh. happy hearing this news, but this is real life, Ooh. no respawns. I'm gonna get on here and share this story because hopefully somebody can learn something from it, but I don't wanna hear any more stories like this. We're all human, we're all gonna make mistakes, Whoa. but they say what you put out in the universe comes back to you. That's crazy. And Susie like 40, <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. He probably in his 30s. I'll be 30 by the end of next year. Um. <laughs> Him. I graduated high school. Susie's deep into his 30s. I'm not even in the 30 game yet. And I graduated high school 11 years ago. So I'm saying. We didn't even get a 10 year like reunion joint because of COVID. And it's been postponing ever since. So I don't know what's going on with that. But my man's been in jail for at least 12 years at least at least 15 years that's crazy but gotta make smart decisions man let me know how you feel about that the like button comment down below subscribe notification bell we out of here